is that I went from this game of living a one-dimensional lifestyle to opening up to a four-dimensional man. You know, and this, this might not make sense for you and people might say, well, what, what exactly does that mean, Garrett, to be a one-dimensional man versus a four-dimensional man? Well, this is when we created and when I conceived the ideas, it was actually in 2008 that this conversation began for me, was this core four concept. There's a lot of people throwing out there the F's and putting faith and family and fitness and finance and a lot of people spun off from the original conversation and doctrine which was core four. Core four, body, being, balance, business. Body, being, balance and business. And then a man, a modern man was defined in power by his capacity to maintain stability and expansion inside of these four areas simultaneously. I'm not talking about being a fucking hero in your body for a year while at the same time doing things that have you disconnected from purpose and ignoring your family and fucking losing your money. We got being twice. I don't know what the fuck. We got body being, be a balance and being. I guess you could have a double being in here. I'm fixing that shit right now. Let's go to my computer. Here I am talking about the people iterating changes to the doctrine. I'm over here like doing it myself. Business. All right. There's the business. Body being balanced business while allowing your business to implode. Vice versa, you saw men come to the other side of the spectrum, focusing on making the money, focusing on getting paid while allowing their marriage and their children, their spirituality and connection to God and their bodies fall apart. And then you got the guys that are superhuman as fathers, superhuman as husbands, but can't pay the bills or superhuman as fathers, superhuman as husbands can pay the bills and may even be spiritually plugged in but roll around with an extra 100 pounds of body fat on and have to give themselves shots because they got fucking diabetes. See, I knew there had to be a way for you and I as men to find superhuman power. And the only way that I could see that was for us inside of this was to wake up. Wake up what though? To wake up a different story inside of us. The story we were waking up was the answer to this question. Who am I? Am I a one dimensional man? Am I destined to live a life that has me just experiencing success momentarily in one area while the others fade and burn? Is that who I am as a man? See, this question itself sat at the core of everything that I was searching for. Who am I really? And I know inside of spirituality and inside of meditation retreats and personal development and religion, Many of us have been searching for these questions our whole life, trying to answer this idea. Many religions try to help us answer this. Many different books, programs, processes. Then here inside of this, I'm going to have you consider that who I am is more of a function of the following, and that is, who do I believe myself to be? See, if you believe it's okay as a man to be fat as fuck while at the same time be rich, then you are going to operate from that place. So listen, my body doesn't really matter. I'm going to make a bunch of money and then I'm going to end up spending all that money to take care of my body down the road. Or vice versa. I've got my body handled and I'm shredded, but I'm not getting paid. And these are the two experiences on the fringe. But see, then there's this middle piece. This middle piece is harder to measure. This middle piece is harder to understand, which is how do I measure the success as a man inside of the marriage in which I stand? This is where I started to fall apart. How do I maintain certainty inside of all four of these areas? Was it possible? And I had to change my story. I had to change the story of who I believed myself to be. Now this, this I am conversation defined the following that said as I am a modern warrior man. Now, I got a lot of people give us shit for this. They say, well, you can't say this shit because of X or you can't call yourself a warrior because of Y or you can't talk the way you talk because of X and you can't say the things you say because of Y and who gave you permission to say this and to do this and I'm like, it's very simple, motherfucker. I chose it. 